Day 16 in the can. Hi. How's it going, everybody? What did we do today? <laughs> what did we do? I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave this, this video now. <laughs> yeah, hold on. We might as well just switch on to Kyle. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's get you guys first. What'd you guys, what'd you guys do nothing. today? So I woke up, I took a nap. What time did you wake up, Virgin? Woke up? I don't know. Not relevant, like, like took 12. Took a nappy? Uh, we just sat at home. Did you guys get food? We watched, uh, Open Up Hero. What? And then, uh, we got, we got some ramen. Wait, is a new episode up? Yeah. Which one, five? I think so. May 5th. Anyway, we watched so, that. Yesterday. Went to get ramen. Huh. And we're like, oh. Went to the supermarket, and we came back, and I'm like, we're gonna go meet with Kyle. And then, uh, we laid down for a bit, we're like, we'll leave in ten minutes. And then, uh, I took a nap. And then I... Relaxed. And then we got Moss Burger. Yeah. And we got Moss Burger. Well, Kyle was like, fuck this, I'm going on a journey. Are you guys coming? We're like, eh, he's like, okay, bye. <laughs> well, no, weird. I was just like, I'm going this way. And then I was like, I might join you. I'm like, I'm going. He's like, I'm going to read manga. Hi. I'm not on vacations, or just vacation. Kyle, what did you do? I walked to Shibuya. How long is that walk? Two and a half hours. How did yeah, that Lord go? Movie. Yeah, like I could have just watched all of Return of the King. Actually, probably couldn't have. Probably been no, longer. No. Probably, yeah, no, because. So, Yomonote line, you imagine it's like a circle, right? And if you imagine we're on the circle, let me try and do this right for the camera. And Yipori would be here, and Shibuya would be here. So I'm like, it takes half an hour for me us to go like this. So I'm like, what if I just went in a straight line? It's the shortest point, the shortest distance between two points. Math. And, uh, yeah. But I saw some cool stuff along the way. I took a bunch of pictures of, like, roads and trees on roads. Um, I found the place in Persona 5 where Ryuji and the main character fish. It's, it's literally just a bunch of, like, long strips of concrete that extend out into, like, this brownish river. And everyone's just sitting there on boxes, like, gonna get one today, man. And there was like 30 people there. Sometimes some people had dates and they're just sitting there like going to catch a fish or maybe a boat. And uh, yeah, that was fun. At some point I accidentally walked into what appeared to be like a bike race or a marathon or something. There was a fuck ton of bikers and a bunch of streets were closed off and there was cops all over the place. And then I kept walking and then I realized I was, I was at a uh, Akasaka Palace, I think it's called. And that would explain a lot of cops. There's one cop just walked around the streets with his nightclub out. He's just ready to go. Oh, and I'm like, you you have a good day, case officer son. Bad people up. Yeah. And uh, so yeah, not too much to talk about my journey. I was just kind of walking and seeing what the sights were like. It was a lot of urban, like high buildings and big streets and tall trees and whatever. Um, trying to keep the important details in mind. Ended up, uh, walking through Harajuku Cat Street again. I was trying to do some people watching, because it was Sunday. I figured maybe some of the weirder outfits would be out there, but didn't really see too much. The weirdest thing I saw was, it was a really tall, lanky Asian guy with dyed blonde hair, uh, wearing, how do I describe this? You know the pedo coats? Yeah. Like, like oh, phew. Right? Yeah, yeah. Like the flasher jacket? Yeah, like the flasher jacket. Um, but it was army green and it, it kind of shined like it was latex or something. Whoa. That's it? And that's all I saw because he had it like buttoned up, ready to go like this. <laughs> and he had a date with him. <sighs> I'm confused. Maybe that was the person who's doing a flash. Maybe. But he was in the middle of the street. Oh. Yeah. They're going to a secluded area to flash. Yeah, right? It's their kink. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, so I don't really know what was up with that guy. That was the weirdest person I saw. Everyone else dressed relatively normally. And then I walked into Shibuya. And then, you know where the that um, Akira art is on the wall? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I walked past there. Because I was like, hey, I'll hit up the Mandrake while I'm here. See what they got. And uh, there was a circle of teenagers just kind of sitting. Like, I'm sitting on the floor like this. There's probably about like seven of them in a circle and they have like three or four cans on the ground 
between them. So I figure like they're just sharing drinks and having a good time or whatever because they ain't got nothing to do. It's Sunday. But as I'm passing them, I realize the guy um, farthest away from me on the side of the circle, he's probably like two decades older than the rest of them and potentially a hobo dress, guessing by like how ratty his hair looked and the fact that his teeth were like half black. Uh, and his, his face was just, like, fucked up. Unless he was just a really unfortunate-looking pubescent boy. <laughs> <laughs> well, what was he like, doing in that group? Just chilling. Okay. Having a laugh. They were having a good time. But, uh, he did not look like he belonged there. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Well, but they accepted him, nonetheless. You go, Japan. And there's like, there was, like, a really long line of people set up. I don't really know what they're waiting for. A bunch of them were wearing, like, these pink-purple sweater shirts, and it said, like, pastel on it or something. Hmm. I don't know what it was. I just went to the Mandrake, and I'm like, maybe I can find, like, the Kekai Sensen soundtrack or something, because fucking Tower Records ain't got it. Uh, didn't find it, but I did find a couple things I'm debating about buying, so I'm like, I got the space in my backpack, I'll buy, or suitcase, I'll buy one more thing, I'll buy... I'll give myself a $30 limit and I'll just buy what I can. And so I, I came down to three different things. Uh, there was a tub, like a literal like cylindrical tub that had a logo on it that says Bad Company and like this weird face. And it is a JoJo item filled with tiny little toy soldiers because that's a stand. Uh, that was like 15 I think I saw. Yeah. I found a Dominator from Psychopaths for twenty. It's a it's a gun. It's about yay big. Shoot shoot. Wait, it's way more expensive than. Yeah, but la I saw it the last time we were here in Japan, and in box it was like a hundred and fifty dollars. Yeah. But there was two <clears throat> models. There was like the one, and then there was the like light up, like partially transforming one. I think the one I found is the the cheaper one. Hmm. Still pretty good for 20 But so. the trigger looks like it moves. I don't know why. Maybe it makes sounds. Uh, that was 20 bucks. I might pick that up because I also found... it's it's a, It calls itself a hand light on the box, but what it is really is it's a night light, but it's a Moogle from uh, Theater Rhythm. It's like chibi version with the, the light up part is the pom bomb on top. Uh, and the, the Moogle itself is detachable from the base, which I guess is why they call it hand light, so you can, like, carry it around. And that's, like, 12 bucks, so I might buy that, depending on how much room I have in my suitcase. I gotta take a look-wise. My suitcase fucking covered in shit! Um, yeah, and then I went to Akiba, because we were gonna get sushi, but then they didn't leave, so I'm like, well, I'm just gonna go back to Nippur and we'll get food. Uh, so I didn't really do anything in Akiba. I thought about going to check if they had... The Artorias figure in stock now, but <sighs> yeah, sadly, no. <clears throat> we can check tomorrow. Yeah, we can check tomorrow. Because we're essentially gonna go hit up Akiba one more time, Harajuku pick up some last minute way. things. Like essentially, we ha we're just hitting up Harajuku and Akiba for like literally one or two things. We're just hitting up, yep. Yep. buying it, going. We need yeah. like Kit Kats. You need Gundams. We want to hit the Gundam Cafe. He's uh, gonna check out. You're gonna check out Artorias if it's there. Yeah. I'm gonna pick up like some stationery or something. Yeah, I need to buy souvenirs. Yeah, I need to buy some Kit Kats. Yeah, we all need to stock up on Kit Kats. Oh, yeah. Apparently, that's what everyone wants. And a very important thing I forgot to talk about in the last vlog. I think it was, I got it yesterday. Did I get it yesterday? Yeah. Um, I got this fan from Tower Records. Actually, I feel like we might have shown this off. I don't remember. But the more important thing is I've awakened to my standability, which is fucking dank-ass winds. Just cut the video. <laughs> <laughs>